I'm Esma. Welcome to our channel. Today we want to give you a tour of Canterbury. We normally live in, we usually live in London with our parents but today we decided hey why not come down to Canterbury for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Now Canterbury is very special to us because it's the city that we used to study as students. We both went to Canterbury Christchurch University. It was one of the best universities, may I say, and we've made some amazing memories and it's been pretty good to be back. And obviously, um, you've seen the upcoming uh, little clips that we've done a lot of uh, trips down the lane and some of them have been where we went to our accommodation houses that we used to live in. So that was for our first year, second year and third year. And that brought back so much memories for us. Um, so, enjoy watching the clips and we'll see you guys later. Bye! again we're just exploring the streets and having some flashbacks with some of the memories we've made in the past um yeah oh, oh these ha oh, these are handmade cute. aren't they yeah this is a cute little vintage shop and then of course my favorite i want to show you guys is the monkey house we just went inside that cute little shop bookshop. Uh, exactly it was the cutest bookshop um, and I managed to buy one of my good friends from work it's pregnant and it's a pregnancy countdown it's actually a really good book you know um, anyways we're currently on our way to our first year student house and we're just gonna have a look around there and obviously remember our little pastimes there um, oh, yeah I miss good old uni days same. I'm sure if any of you that's who's not a university student and has been in the past has probably misses it like us. Guys, this used to be our student accommodation where we used to live. Oh my gosh, I'm so 
we're just walking away from the building behind me the brown one and that was our one of our first uh student houses um yeah it was just so sad and obviously we're walking through the streets where we used to walk as a student We're now on our third year house and um, we're just coming to and I'll show you the house that we stayed in when we were in um, year three of university. Exactly. Which one is it? I think it's that one of those brown ones. Honestly guys, if you were a student in the past like us, I would highly recommend you to go back to university um, city and literally explore and remember all the things you did as a student and even go and visit your old uh, student houses as well <laughs> hey guys we've just got to our hotel and we're just on our way heading to the room uh, this is their beautiful cathedral lounge. Look how gorgeous it is. I think you have to reserve this house. It's very vintage, isn't it? Uh, look at all the rooms they have. Ready? Guys, we're lost in the hotel. We can't find our room. Does anyone else experience these type of situations? No matter how many hotels we've been, we always manage to get lost. Is it this way? Oh yeah, I think it is this way. Oh my god, it's like we're in a maze. Yay, we made it. Right, shall we do a little hotel room tour? Right, this is a bedroom, and as you can see, we've walked through the door. Um, we did kind of settle in already, so it might be a bit mess. Um, obviously, every journey we come, we have to bring books and then a laptop. And look how cute this bedroom is, guys. Look at the display board. Isn't it beautiful? Excuse the mess on the mess uh, bed. As I said, we already settled in. And then, let me show you the bathroom. Obviously, every hotel room is quite similar. So we've got a bathtub with a shower head. And then, of course, the bathroom. And then there's our toiletries. It's quite small, but it's perfectly enough for us. Good morning, guys. It's day two from Canterbury. And today we are planning to go to, is it Margate? Margate Beach. To Margate Beach. And, you know, just explore the beach and get some suntan. We're currently on our uh, getting ready and we'll see you guys then. Bye. Guys, we got the tickets to go to Margate. How many stops is it? I'm not sure. All right. The lovely uh, counter guy was like, are you guys going to uh, Suntan then? I was like, of course. So I said, they're killing me. Look at that view. I missed it. We used to do this on a regular basis back and forth to London. And now we've just come back for like a, you know, weekend away for ourselves. It's just so nice to remember and reflect back on all the stuff we used to do. Guys, Margate is so beautiful. And bear in mind, I'm just saying this as we left the station. The view is so beautiful amazing and 
to be honest, I haven't visited the beach or even the seafront for over a year. Whereas she's been here last week um, for work reasons. We're just going to explore the town first and then we'll end the uh, rest of the day in the beach and tan. Guys, look how beautiful this view is. So mesmerizing. We're going to find an amazing location and just chill. <laughs> Okay, look at that puppy over there, eh? So cute. <laughs> the puppy went for a swim. Hey, what do you prefer? Margate or South End? I feel like Margate. I'm going to have to go for Margate. Margate. It's pure sand. Wow, well. Margate Beach is beautiful, guys. Why have I not been here before? It's so underrated. It is underrated. Look, GB Pizza Co. Amazing. Where's JB? That little Swift looks good. Oh, I see. Right, we're going to go up there later for lunch. Hey guys, we've made ourselves a little setup. We've got our big, beautiful purple blanket and, you know, taking some photos. I actually want to go over and see the little seagulls. Look how many they are. Should we go have a look at my little friends? Hi buddies, look how chilled they are. They are so adorable. There's so many of them. Some kind of devotion that brings me down. That without my love for the ocean, I will be no one. So ideal for the beach. Loving life, are you? Yum! It's lunchtime. We're off to go get some pizza from gbpizza.co, I think. I'm not sure. But uh, it is delicious. So if you're ever in Margate, go to GB Pizza. As Bye. talks about this. Three years of our lives we spent in these Look, amazing buildings. Wow, they've still got those historic stuff. This is so good. Do you know what, guys? I highly recommend go back to a university town and go and visit your campus. It, it brings, brings back, back so much memories. Right? Yes, I think it might be sure. I think they're sure. Let's go have a look just now. Look, we used to spend our lunch breaks over there, guys. Absolutely amazing. How beautiful are these campuses, guys? Look at this. Tell me this isn't the most beautiful campus. It's so quiet. It's loud open. We'll go closer to it and show yeah. you. I love how the fire department's um, supporting LGBT. Do you want to go to the library? Um, I, I don't think like we'll... we're going to need an ID card. Yeah, you need admissions. Yeah. Right, we're on our way to the peak hill of Canterbury. 
and we can get a view of the city. It looks like roughly about eight minutes walk, isn't it? It gets you straight up this bridge. Margate to Canterbury. Oh, look, to be close to the university. Look, library. guys, that's our, well, that used to be our library. It's still as beautiful as I remembered it being, isn't it? Oh, look, they're building new houses up there. That wasn't there before. No. Resting your head in my arms You sing la 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 